Hey everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. We are about to drop off Ollie because I have my 20 week anatomy scan today. Anthony's with me. We're going together. He hasn't been able to go to any of the appointments so far, so I made sure he's off for this one. Um, we have to be there at 8 a.m. and I'm currently drinking my water because I have to drink 32 ounces before I get there. Um, and right after that, I have a, like a GYN appointment, so they're both in the same office and he's just gonna see me right after that. Um, and then Anthony and I are gonna go to like breakfast, lunch, either one, and then I'm gonna go home and try and get some stuff done for TikTok. But that's what my day is looking like. Are you excited to see the baby? <coughs> While yes. Ollie dies in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we finally decided on a name and we ordered the, the little swaddle with his name on it. Um, when we finally announced it to like my family is when I'll announce it on YouTube. Um, but after like months of fighting over this name, we finally just like figured it out. So yeah. Ollie, are you excited to go to school today? Okay. You could tell that he is not a morning person whatsoever. All right, so I'm probably gonna pick up my camera again at the ultrasound. Hopefully um, I can get some good clips. Sometimes they just don't let you record in there and I'm kind of nervous that I won't be recording like my entire birthing experience either. Especially because it's, is it a Catholic? Is Holy Redeemer a Catholic hospital? Sounds like it to me. Yeah, I think it's a Catholic hospital so they're super conservative about certain things. And I'm only allowed to have two people in the hospital at all times. Uh, so two people one being Anthony, and I don't know who the second person is going to be yet. Um, so, <clears throat> those are the only two people allowed in the hospital. I'm not allowed to have any other visitors. So, hopefully, I don't have another C section because I'll be in the hospital for what? What were four days? Yeah. Four days just with Anthony and the one other person. They're allowed to leave, but that one person is the only one that's allowed to come back. So, it will just kind of suck if I get stuck in the hospital for multiple days and it's only like two people and no one else can see the baby. Yeah, because Nick and Tara are just not happy about this rule. <laughs> We're finished at the ultrasound. I got a bunch of pictures, but I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. Um, everything looks good. He's a big boy. Uh, it's now 11.30. We're going to Applebee's because I'm starving. Um, I just need something to eat real quick and we don't want to get like McDonald's so I'm gonna get like a burger and just relax I'm gonna get like a burger and then by the time we're done here we're probably just gonna have to pick up Ollie because we don't have to come back out um, but I have like a huge haul of stuff that I want to show you guys uh, that I've been accumulating for the baby um, more clothes and stuff like that along with like bulk items and things that we've been buying so Anthony and I are going on a little lunch date grabbing Ollie, going home. We just got home from Applebee's. I had a nice little lunch with Anthony. Uh, Ollie's on the floor eating a donut. Uh, we're actually getting ready to take a walk to Tara's house because uh, she has a couple of things of mine. Um, we're gonna go there real quick. I'm gonna show you the ultrasounds when I get home, but I also have some information that I'm kind of like nervous about that I'm gonna say, and I have this huge haul behind me that I wanna get through and show you guys. I do have more stuff coming in. Again, um, Target, if you have like a red card, you get the circle um, like discounts, which is like 20% off baby items, a bunch of different stuff throughout the week this week so i've just been paying attention and i bought more baby items so we're gonna go for a walk ollie's got his little scooter from last year that like lights up um that he's not too happy about going out with but we're gonna quickly take a walk okay so we're home now from the park um well i went to pick up something and then we ended up at the playground um also i haven't been well i cried at the ultrasound i was very emotional but this is from my mask so my makeup is like wearing off um so my appointment uh everything looks good baby's looking good um i have a bunch of ultrasounds they gave me he's actually measuring like a week ahead um they he was moving non-stop uh so it was kind of just like crazy i'm gonna try and get the ultrasound and not my uh information in there oh 
put on. Yeah. Let's let's just Okay, so there is baby boy. Um, that's his profile. They did give me some um, pictures of him. Like, he keeps putting his hands near his face. So they had, like, a really hard time getting that. Like, a lot of his stuff. So there is him with his hand over his head. And then um, they gave us, like, pictures of his, like, little feet and his little hands. So these are his feet. Right there is the foot. And then here's the hand. Here's his hand right next to his face. Um, so he was moving around nonstop. They actually had like a really hard time getting it. Um, especially with his hand in front of his face. They said that it was like really hard to get his like heart um, pictures. <laughs> After that, I had a doctor's appointment right after, and I went straight into that. Um, I was there from 8, well, 7.30 until almost 11 o'clock. That was a lot. Um, so they scheduled my next appointment, and then following that, three weeks later, I have to take my glucose test. So they gave me this to drink ahead of time, so I don't have to sit in the office for an hour. So that's nice. And then... Um, while I was in my actual appointment, he just, like, you know, checked the heart rate. It was, his office has the ultrasound in there, and then I just walked to the next side and did my actual appointment. So he already knows what the heart rate was. <laughs> so I don't know why he made me do it again. Um, and I lost another, like, four or five pounds. And then we were talking about if the possibility, well... He told me in the beginning that a possibility of a VBAC was definitely happening, but then we got more into like what happened with Oliver. He said that I cannot, the to schedule an induction would be really risky because something could happen with like my um, uterine wall erupting. So he really doesn't want to do a um, induction whatsoever he, so the v-back would only be possible if i had the baby naturally like i went into labor labor naturally um he doesn't want to induce me whatsoever um and he's gonna set me up for a 37 week appointment ultrasound to see how big baby is because he might just schedule me a c-section at this point um because baby is measuring so big um it's already looking like i might have to just schedule a c-section um was not planning that at all i really wanted to be back this time and just like push the baby out naturally and not have to do the recovery that i dealt with with ollie it was terrible yes buddy so i was we weren't really preparing for a c-section but at least if it's scheduled i know ahead of time i could prepare myself anthony could be there um it won't be as traumatic as when we had ollie if you haven't been around for that um, I had a, an induction, um, he was like negative five, I think. And he, after two days of being in labor with no medication, with, um, nonstop contractions every 30 seconds, I opted for a, um, C-section and they thought I had MRSA, which I did not have. So they would not give me an epidural through the back or give me um anesthesia through the back for an a normal c-section i had to go completely under um which caused more of an issue later down the line uh so like my recovery was like really hard afterwards so this time at least we will know and i know what to expect um my only issue is is that i was in the hospital for four days after ollie and Anthony only has like a five day window of being off. So about a week. Um, so we're kind of like the the only time Anthony's really going to spend any time with the baby is at the hospital. And it took me like two and a half weeks to fully like be able to walk up and down the steps. 
my bathroom is on the second floor um and now i'm gonna have a toddler home with me so like having a c-section is not ideal um i don't really have anybody here to help me afterwards like when i get home so that is what we're worried about now not the fact that i'll have a c-section but the aftermath of coming home and not having anybody here then we were talking about breastfeeding again um especially because feeding every two to three hours and being stuck on the couch to feed my baby every two to three hours might just be like really difficult with ollie and since i've already pumped exclusively pumped with oliver and i know what to expect especially now that i have a portable breast pump i have two of them now that i can walk around with i'm honestly thinking of just exclusively pumping again and anthony thinks that's also a good idea um even if i start out breastfeeding and then i slowly start to back away from that at least the baby will get breast milk um i just don't think i will be sitting on the couch feeding this baby and it, ollie will be fine about that so i think it would be easier to just bottle feed um especially because anybody can bottle feed it won't just be strictly me um so yeah i'm gonna show you like my huge haul now because what else am i gonna do um and like i said like this isn't like something i was prepared for going into this visit i was just making sure baby was okay he is he's perfectly fine um we weren't allowed to record in there and he he reminds me so much of ollie like ollie kept his hands like this um he still does it while he's sleeping especially with his blanket next to his face he would not be swaddled because his hands had to be up he just never liked putting his hands down and now this little guy is doing the same thing so it just reminded me a lot of ollie and i was just crying because you don't get that ultra, you don't get as many ultrasounds um i had one at six weeks to confirm my pregnancy and then i had to wait till i was 20 weeks or i'm almost i'm 19 weeks i'm almost 20 weeks to get another ultrasound and there's just not a lot in between and i feel like you just don't know what's going on in there um it's really hard to especially when you're not feeling any movement in the beginning it's really hard to like think like okay my baby's okay you know what i mean so that was like my mindset but i've been feeling him a lot more often he's definitely moving um but the ultrasound is showing way more movement than what i'm feeling at the moment i feel like he just has like a lot of space in there because my uterus has definitely expanded he has like hello room um but yeah let's just get into the um the hall i just want to get that over with so anthony can take it all downstairs it's been sitting in my living room because i just like to show you guys as i'm getting it so i don't have to keep carrying it up and down the steps also a lot of this stuff has like my address on there so i'm going to try and just get everything on here without my address so i have another pile of clothes i don't want to hear it from anybody's like freaking out about the clothes i'm getting everything like 20 to 25 percent off if not more because i have like the red card so i'm just gonna keep going because i'm getting a lot of the stuff like real cheap um so i found this little onesie by carter's i don't know the prices again i got everything on sale it says little brother this one with little sharks on them and this one with a little alligator again i'm still obsessed with the little greens and these are all in three months then i was able to order these i know these were like maybe two dollars they're just little i don't know if you can see that just little joggers and these are in zero to three months these are cat and jack i got three pairs because these just go with anything i could just slip a onesie on and put that on and he's good to go um general neutral just sleepers these are cloud island i think yes and these are a new newborn so those And then I got some more little joggers in blue and gray stripes. This is from Cloud Island and it is size, sorry, three to six months. 
if you watched my last haul i did a lot of stuff in like bigger sizes and now i know my baby is going to be huge so i'm glad i did this <laughs> The way that I did it with Ollie because that was just a hot mess trying to like keep up with him growing. Um, and I keep telling Anthony like are you okay with me continuing to buy stuff? And he's like alright whatever. <laughs> so this came in a pack of four and these are three to six month like um, onesie, long sleeve onesies. So you got that one. Just a dark blue. Little rocket ships and moons. And then a gray striped one. And then I found these little sleeper packs. This is also from Cloud Island. And these are in size three to six months. Um, they don't have the foot, uh, but it's just this charcoal gray and then like this heather gray, I think with plus signs. So that, I found another jogger. I don't know if this came in that pack, but this is three and six months too, probably in gray and then of course i got more of the green and white these come with both the the foot and the the hand this is three to six months so i got it in white and in green and it's that like sweater material so again i'm really glad that i'm getting stuff um in bigger sizes because of course this baby is measuring so big if you guys are new, Ollie came out eight pounds, 12 ounces. So he was a big boy. Um, and if I would've let him continue to cook, he he was four days late um, coming out. We in, scheduled our induction on a Saturday, Friday, and he didn't come out until Sunday. Um, so he, could have been bigger if I just let him continue to cook in there. And like I said, I wasn't ready at all to have him. Like he wasn't coming down. I wasn't, I was like one centimeter, I think two centimeters. By the time they scheduled my induction, um, I wasn't effaced at all. I had no sorts of anything going on down there. <laughs> and if you did follow along back then, um, I did like castor oil, pros primrose oil, um, dates, pineapple. I did everything that are like myths to try and get your baby out. Nothing worked. Um, I don't recommend anything that I've done in my YouTube videos, I do not recommend. Please don't copy me. Um, that's like user, um, it's not user friendly 100%. I would definitely get confirmation from your doctors before you try anything that other YouTubers are doing. Um, but I think this time around, I'm going to continue to do, probably do those things again, um, along with pelvic exercises, which I've already started. So hopefully it like loosens me up and has like the baby coming down pretty quick. And I already blew up my ball <laughs> and, um, sidewalk hopping, which I heard is a really good thing to do along with uh just taking daily walks because it would be like really nice out by the time um like i had ollie early january um he was due the 9th and had him on the 13th um this baby is not due until august so i'll be able to take like nice walks and enjoy you know i probably won't enjoy it because it's gonna be like disgustingly hot but at least i can continue to walk and um try to get the baby up and then of course chasing after that one during the summer is gonna be like crazy. What bun? You, you playing with my ball? While I was at Target today, I actually picked this up for Ollie because we're going to a St. Patrick's Day party for my mom. Um, so I got that little Batman shirt and then I got this um, for Easter. I did buy an Easter like actual shirt for him. I just have to find him pants. It's just so hard because he's in between sizes right now. So everything's just a hot mess Um, so I got these bottles off of Amazon they came in a Just these two. I actually opened them already just so I could feel them. Um, I didn't try Como Tomo, Como to Como Tomo With Oliver, but I hear good things about them. It's silicone based so it's easier to um, It doesn't get stuck so I got these, 
I use Tommy Tippy with Ollie, um, and I love those. It's just I wanted to try different bottles this time around. And like I said, if we're like exclusively oh, pumping, yeah. I wanted something that wasn't gonna create like a lot of gas. So I got these um, this time around, and I didn't just buy this pack. Um, this was only $11, and I know they sell for like $25 at Target, but they were on sale on Amazon's website, so $11 for the two pack. And then I got the bigger pack, which came with like um, two small bottles, two big bottles, along with like the transitional nipples. Um, so it comes with uh, zero to three month nipples, three month nipples, and six month nipples. Um, if you don't know this, you're supposed to replace the flow of the nipples periodically, like as they grow, um, because it'll be harder for them to like suck it out, pretty much. Um, so I got this bundle off of Amazon as well. I think it was on sale, but I can't remember the price. And then I got myself the Mom Cozy. Let me just make sure my name and everything is on there. So I got the Mom Cozy S um 12 pro uh i opened it up i'm ho just hoping that it's the right size um if not i'm gonna have to order that online but it looks pretty cool i'm hearing great things about mom cozy so i'm pretty excited to try it out of course nothing is like uh set up yet and i was trying to see like how big this container is because if you weren't around for Ollie, I keep saying that, but I do have videos down below if you want to check those out from when I was pregnant with Oliver and when he was a newborn. Especially like my pumping schedule because I had an oversupply and Ollie didn't latch after like two months. So um, I'm worried about these because I normally just put like eight ounce bottles on my, D my Della pump. Um, but I might have to stop, pour this out, and then continue to pump. Um, so yeah, I also have the LV pump coming and when that comes I'll uh, show you guys what that looks like. I got that through my insurance. And then all that's left is like the bulk items. I went to Sam's Club over the weekend and I got a new swing because my swing is broken and I had to buy a new one. So this is the swing. I got the Cassia swing from Maxi Cozy. This was on sale for a hundred dollars at Sam's Club. If you have a Sam's Club around you, I highly recommend and see if they still have it available. A hundred dollars. It was originally almost two hundred, and I got it like almost a hundred dollars off because they have stickers all over this box. Um, I got this bassinet. This is what it looks like. It's the Laura bassinet from Maxi Cozy. I'm actually highly upset because I seen on TikTok somebody pushing this down and being able to like slide it onto their bed. They have an international version that they do not sell in the United States. And that one comes down. This one does not. Um, but I got this on sale from Target. So I bought it. So we'll just see how this goes. If I don't like it, I'll probably return it. But this is... It. I really liked it for the storage since it'll be in our bedroom. So this is the stroller and the car seat um, that I picked. Is a Graco Modes SE travel system. Um, so this can completely come off. Like it turns. Like what? Um, so it can completely. The seats can completely come off, and this stands alone. And you could just put the infant seat in there so it's not as bulky to go in the car and then you could turn the toddler seat into like an infant seat in between so um i really like that and then it eventually turns into like a toddler seat so we grabbed this this was also on sale i think it was like 75 dollars off so i got this and people were comparing this to the upa baby so i'm hearing good things this is the all-in-one car seat that we got. This is also of um, Maxi Cozy. Um, it has my address on that side, but not on this side, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's the Priya all-in-one convertible car seat. Um, so I got this one for when we want to upgrade to the next size because we pretty much put Ollie in this 
in this car seat after like maybe three months. Um, and of course he was rear facing, but this is the car seat we got. All right, so it's much later. I actually took everything downstairs. Anthony helped me. Um, and I took off my makeup because my face, if you guys have any recommendations for like hormonal acne during pregnancy, please let me know because I wash my face regularly day and night and my face is just not happy. It's not happy at all. Um, so I was editing this video and I already know it's like disgustingly long. So I'm going to actually end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.